This is your commercial break to let you know I'm back. Yo, up on the mountain where I come upon and pray. Get your Bibles out every day. Champ Vinci's back. Do not fear, because everywhere we go, it'll be clear. What we're going to do, we're going to love one another. We're going to use this word, and we're going to use business principles to make sure that everybody can grab themselves by their own bootstraps. But guess what? Everybody's just been putting it on y'all. I'm going to put it on me. I'm going to pull all y'all up by your bootstraps. Anybody tried to rise up? Anybody tried to get right? This ain't even a part of my, my series. This is just... We're back. So, I brought my Bible. I wanted to come up to the rock where I've been launching from. That's my launch rock. That's my staff. That's one. God of powers. That's that right arm. Gotcha! Woo! Talk about accurate. Talk about... David, get me a few stones. Today's stones are these golf balls I find out here. Show me my target. All right, here we go. We got the Bible, so I opened it up, and I was like, I was like, I was going to look something up. About, you know, I ain't going to tell you all my secrets, but I was going to look some stuff up. And I was like, no, nah, nah, I just grabbed Jesus Franklin's Bible, the Legacy Bible. Get one. It's cool. It's changed my whole life. You don't want a new life. You don't want more. You don't want increase. You don't want double portion. Come on. So I flip it open, and of course, always on target, the Bible. So right here, let's see what it says. I didn't even read it, because as soon as I saw the title of it, what it was, I was just going to, I was like, ah, I can't read ahead right now. It's too good. All right, so Jesus identifies his betrayer. Here comes that music. Boom, boom, boom. So Jesus identifies, he says, I do not speak, speak concerning all of you. I know whom I have chosen. But that the scripture may be fulfilled. He who eats bread with me has lifted up his heels against me. Now I tell you, before it comes, that when it does come to pass, you may believe that I am he. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who receives whomever I send receives me. And he who receives me receives him who sent me. It's that three, two, one kind of stuff but everybody wants to forget about the one that one three god two jesus one you do something good for people today my god or else go home up to heaven go on if you ain't gonna help your brothers and sisters seriously go ahead free ticket to paradise you're not helping anybody all right here we go when Jesus had said these things, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Most assuredly, I say to you, one of you betrayed me. Then the disciples looked at one another, oh, not me. Perplexed about whom he spoke. Now, there was leaning on Jesus' bosom, one of his disciples. Now, in other words, they leaning on this cat hard. All right. looks at one another perplexed about whom he spoke now there was there was lean now there was leaning on jesus bosom one of his disciples whom jesus loved simon peter the rock <sighs> therefore motioned to him to ask who it was of whom he spoke then lean back on jesus breath he said to him Lord, who is it? Right on Jesus' breast. Lord, who betrayed you? Well, I don't know. Here comes a mystery, more mystery music. Da, 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 who betrayed him? Jesus answered, It is he to whom I shall give a piece of bread when I have dipped it. And having dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas scarlet the son of simon now after the piece of the bread satan entered him who did you know satan can enter you after you dip your bread and betraying people or betraying jesus or betraying people of jesus satan enters you when you do that it's not cool to sell people out or to try to to betray people because the devil jumps right in you right after you do that because that's exactly what put jesus on the cross so if you're a betrayer or a liar no matter what you're doing in life and you're selling out and hurting people of god the devil jumps right in you. It says right here in the Bible. All right. Then Jesus said to him, what you do, do quickly. Because he had already begun to make up his mind 
He hadn't actually betrayed him yet, but in his mind he had. And so once your mind begins to betray those that love you, and once your mind begins to betray those, whether it be our black Americans, since it's a valent, uh, uh, Black History Month, <laughs> or if it's just your own family. Right now we live in a world covered in TV where it's just sell each other out, sell each other out. Court TV, court TV, cops, 911, Reno 911, Lake Lanier 911 the other day. You know, helicopters everywhere. You know, it, it's, it's crazy. And, and this is showing that when you betray people of God, that the devil jumps right in you because the thought of it is the gateway for Satan to control you and to ride that motorcycle in your brain, riding it just ready to wreck lives is what you're doing. When you get the thought process to begin to betray one another, don't do that. It's not a way of life, ladies, men, kids, politicians. So now after the piece of bread, Satan entered him quickly. Then Jesus said to him, what you do, do quickly. But no one at the table knew for what reason he said this to him. For some thought, because Judas had the money box. Is it one big money box racket? Who can get the money box? We're just going to steal from each other. You can't be nice enough to appreciate people around you. You can't love those around you. You can't do. The second thing Jesus told you to do is love everybody the same way you love him. So if you are betraying people that you love, you are Judas and Satan has entered you. So, but you can get out of that. Repent. Make things right. Or I don't know. <laughs> All right. For some thought, because Judas had the money box, that Jesus had said to him, buy those things we need for the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. Having received the piece of the bread, he went out immediately. And it was night. So the second, that piece of bread, Jesus says that, that the bread of life is him. Okay? But when you take that bread and you dip it into betrayal of one another, or just into the betrayal of, of let's just say, Americans. Just like political season coming up. Everybody on here is going to be blasting. It's about to get nasty. But remember, if they're children of God, the second you open the gate to, to really hate somebody for who they are or for just an opinion or for a moment or for an accident or for a ba one second bad in time. Because that's what Jesus is all about. But if, it's, if you're opening your thought to the discussion of judgment, that is betrayal. That's betraying Jesus. That's betraying your friends. That's betraying your family. That's betraying your country. That's betraying everything. And the second you begin to betray these things that this says to respect and love and to uplift and to encourage, which is every single one of us, which is every single person in office, and the people in office, that's all the people there. For the criminals, that's to respect the, other, the officers. For the officers, to respect the people. The second you begin to lie, it doesn't matter your job. It doesn't matter your position on this planet. Because this is the longest lasting book and the one that we have built America on, and the one that, that will protect Israel, and the one that needs to protect the lands that we come on. The, mo the least polluted people, through all the ways that we can receive pollution, through our eyes, our ears, our nose, our mouths, our skins, our skin, and our thoughts, any way you can receive pollution makes your brain or your overempowered ego begin to tear people down. And know this, that it may feel like, oh, I'm just doing what I feel like is good and that's the way we've been raised or we've been trained. Well, guess what? The devil's just now spread his leg and dropped his crotch right on your head and he's riding your motorcycle right across that motor strip on top going, ready, set, go. Ready, and you're running around betraying people. I'm back. And for you, turn back. Remember who we are. We are here to love one another. 
We do not betray one another. Unite. Have a good day.